September 2014, the leaders of the global 500 to 1,000 companies gathered in Tianjin for the annual meeting of the new champions, or Summer Davos as it called. The meeting, though only lasted three days, it covered nearly 100 topics. Show the unique ingenuity the organizer invited participants practicing Tai Chi, the traditional Chinese Kung Fu, each morning to start their everyday busy schedule. Li Hui, a Tai Chi instructor from British Deyin Tai Chi Pavilion, would lead the guests to this special experience. She had been teaching Tai Chi in Birmingham, UK for over 30 years. As a hero of Tai Chi, Li Hui is famous in UK and even Europe. Her students reached over 1,000. She is trying to spread Tai Chi culture to a broader and more influential platform. Around April this year, I received a letter from the headquarters of the World Economy in Geneva. My father and I had been invited to do some Tai Chi culture exchange programs and personnel training on human body well-being. I'd like to think we built up some good reputation and made some friends over the years. When I knew I was going to be the diverse Tai Chi instructor, I was surprised and of course very excited. I'm so looking forward to experiencing Tai Chi with all guests. To Li Hui, Tai Chi is not only an exercise routine for bodybuilding. Chinese believe Tai Chi is the source of all. The infinity power transformed into heaven and earth, yin and yang, movement and tranquility, firmness and softness. During an event in Sydney, Australia, the host introduced my father as well as his many achievements. Something my father said that day really moved me. He said he only did one thing in his entire life. That is to do well in Tai Chi and teaching as many people as he could. I think he's got the true meaning of the simplifying complicated life and the great truth. When she was an international student in UK, Li Hui once tried to open a Tai Chi experience class. I held an event at school introducing and performing Tai Chi so that I could practice my English. The event attracted a lot of attention. The fitness club nearby asked me to start a small class. The early success boosted Li Hui's confidence of spreading Tai Chi culture abroad. When she finished school, Li Hui opened a Tai Chi pavilion using her father's name, De Yin. As time passing by, with her teaching, Chinese Tai Chi had been known and accepted by more and more people in the UK and Europe. You, you calm your body and your mind, and I feel much more ready for the day right now. I didn't sleep for very long last night, and so it's a very refreshing way to start the day and get the body and mind uh, aligned for a good day. Traditional Chinese Tai Chi and World Economic Forum in Tianjin united for the first time. They were a perfect match. Tai Chi went on with the Alpine wisdom. Furthermore, it became the most energetic Chinese element during the Davos meeting. Hu Binyin, TGTV World.